Hey everyone, Magpie Gaming here. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we're going to be taking a quick look at Ark Raiders, the other game in development from Embark Studios. Of course, they're the studio that is bringing us the finals later this year that will go into uh, early access later in the year. But they've also been developing another game as well called Ark Raiders. And to be fair, I'd not really looked too much into this game. I'd seen a trailer for it, seen a couple of screenshots, but didn't really know what the game was about or, you know, what the storyline behind it was or anything like that. But then there was a blog post put out yesterday by the executive producer of the game, Alexander Grondel, and he's taken the steps to change it into a extraction style shooter. So it now has my interest because obviously being a Tarkov aficionado, I do like the extraction style shooter. So I'm going to take a quick look at this blog post, read some um, extracts from it. And what you can see in the background right now is the only trailer that I can find that we have of the game at the moment showing some of the gameplay. I would assume that this was done before before they decided to turn it into an extraction style shooter so it may look a little bit different when it comes out but it is stunningly beautiful in Unreal Engine 5 it just looks amazing but yeah anyway so I'm going to read a bit from this uh, blog post for you guys so that you can get an understanding of just what this game actually is. So they say our creators drops players into a lethal but stunningly beautiful future earth with hair raising moments of survival and suspense. Human versus machine, human versus human, together or alone and you versus is the sometimes conflicting nature of your own humanity, all in the spectacular backdrop of a landscape littered with the haunting remains of the past. Here is an excerpt to help paint a picture of what you can expect at this time in our development of the game. People have fled to the underground colony of Speranza, seeking supplies to survive and shelter from the machines. Demand for resources is at an all-time high, but getting those resources is a risky job and isn't for everyone, but it is a job for you. That's why you've enlisted as a raider, scavenging for vital supplies supplies that are scattered across the landscape, everything from leftovers from yesterday's run-ins with Ark to the unlikely remains of a pinball machine. Out there the stakes are high and you will have to fight for your loot. Lethal Ark machines roam the surface and there are no rooms in Calabretta, so beware of other raiders. With the traders in Speranza, trust is hard earned and easily lost. You need to earn your keep, so don't come back from a quest empty-handed. When you see another raider chased by a swarm of Ark drones, do you go in for the kill? Do you lend a helping hand? Or do you hold back and feast on the valuable remains? So you get a kind of idea of what the game is, but as I say from the trailer in the background, it looks absolutely stunning. It really does sort of just, it looks amazing. And being a Tarkov player coming from that gritty sort of dark world of Tarkov to something that is as beautiful looking as this game, which is going to have sort of extraction style mechanics in it, definitely has my interest. You know, I love Tarkov, don't get me wrong, but sometimes it can be very drab and dreary looking and very greyed out and I know that's the aesthetic that Battlestate games for, go for in that game but every now and again I just want something that's bright and vibrant that I can you know feast my eyes on there's got to be a bit of colour now and again and our creators definitely hits the spot with that so in the blog post they write last spring we made the decision to move the release of our creators in order to focus on releasing the finals our team based first person shooter as our first game at that time we also said we were giving the our creators team time to add PvP to the existing foundation of the game. Since then, over the course of development, our creators has taken the shape of what we believe to be a truly promising PvPVE survival extraction shooter, a game that stays true to the our creators universe and that we're having a blast testing internally. And then they also go on to talk about the closed alpha. The next step for us is a closed alpha test to get feedback on the game's core systems and loops. This will be the first road to test of our creators and an important step for the game, which so far has never been in the hands of external players. The test will be closed and under NDA because work remains on the game and we're not quite ready to reveal everything about it. We have some work to do and theories to prove before it's time to put them on the world stage. And obviously if you would like to have a go, you can go sign up on Steam, etc, etc. So they've decided to take this step to go to the extraction style shooter, which I can't say I blame them. Extraction style shooters seem to be very popular at the moment, obviously spared on by Escape from Tarkov, but also spared on I think by the fact that Tarkov just is isn't hitting the spot right now for a lot of players that want a decent extraction style shooter. And I know some people might think that that's me hating on Tarkov. Don't hate on Tarkov, 
whatsoever. I love that game, but I understand it's a small studio. It takes time to get things done. They're trying to get everything. I think they're trying to get everything perfect first time, which never happens. Definitely doesn't happen in Escape from Tarkov, but they're taking the time with it. So I think there's space in the genre right now for somebody to jump in with something that's maybe just a little bit better put together from the off. So could Ark Raiders be that? We don't know. We'll have to wait and see, but they're definitely moving into a market where I think they could make waves if they can get in with a good product from the start. And I have no doubts that they will bring a good product to the market from the offing. They definitely have with the finals. That is a great little game, which is going to go places. Certainly will, given the foundation that it's built on Unreal Engine 5. Looks great. It scales well on PC systems. The studio seem very, very passionate about it. And that's one of the things that you need. A passionate studio will take a game very far. And it seems like they're being given all the time that they need to do things right. And they obviously want to get the play testing right as well. They're putting it, putting it out to a certain number of people at certain times so that they can get the feedback that they need and it looks as though they're going to do exactly the same with Ark Raiders so yeah it's piqued my interest definitely so I'm going to keep an eye on this one for you ladies and gentlemen so if you want to uh, keep up to date with news about Ark Raiders don't forget to hit that subscribe button I will be following this one obviously extraction style shooters are a thing right now but uh, I've got to be honest there aren't many that have done it for me Marauders again had that very start that just wasn't for me it just didn't hit where I wanted it to hit the cycle frontier very different very vibrant very sort of good looking a different twist on the raid style system as well with i think it's a six hour persistent raid map you know that was different but again just didn't hit that spot for me it wasn't just it's okay but not great will arc raiders be different i don't know like i say there's a lot to learn about this game yet you know how many maps will we have how long will raids last will you be able to extract loot mid raid and carry on with the raid there's a lot of questions to be answered right now but like i say it looks amazing so it's off to a good start already and i will be following it closely and that's pretty much it i think i've rambled on enough anyway but if you've made it this far in the video thank you very much for watching and listening a like would be really good and if you're not subscribed but want to keep up to date with arc raiders it would be great if you could drop me a subscribe as well that really does help with that being said i will catch you in the next one ladies and gentlemen take care